I just don't get... I just don't get that bully trio gang's motive at all. I guess they're just... It feels like they're doing it out of sadism since... This is just going to set us back for a few days if we can just redo the uh, redo that exam. Unless it's some sort of elaborate hazing ritual fought up by the teachers. Well, I know that if I talk to him, it's probably going to end the day, so let's do it. Yes, let's hope it doesn't make me tired, otherwise I may have to postpone it. Cool, let's take it easy every now and then. Nice to see you again, Green Cold Seal. What have you been up to lately? We literally just did a class together, Ayn. Class. We were literally in the same class. That's cool, I guess. Some classes can be pretty fun. I'm actually getting the hang of potion craft. Can you believe that? So tell me, when you're not saying, what do you do? Huh. Friends? I see, the, the talk icon on them will determine whether they like your answer or not, so as long as I get enough of them, hopefully there's enough leeway even if I don't pick the optimal answers. Is that why you're hanging with me now? Aw. Well, I'm glad you chose to hang out with me today. I'm, I was getting bored. Gotta strike for balance, huh? Well, I should get, get ready for bed soon. Any plans tomorrow? Well, obviously we have to take more classes, and I don't have any new uh, uh, new legal books to learn, so... Errands? Well, technically we do have to turn that quest to that one guy, but hopefully that won't take up the entire day. Hmm. Oh, that's a bad answer. Come on, man. We're, uh, we have to study harder, or Sylvia's gonna kick our butts again. Yeah, that might be it. A hazing ritual to make students get serious. Maybe. I mean, she, she seems way too strong for a freshman, so that could be it. That or she's just some random super strong asshole that the developer put in to motivate the player. Who is, who so, is somehow a legit student. Okay, I better... Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Okay, yeah, let's pick different answers. Okay, the first choice- the first- the best first choice is lazy. Seriously, man, you- I know you're in this dorm that's known for lazy people, but this is still a bit stereotypical. Seriously. <laughs> okay, so relax is probably gonna get him the best result, yeah? Yeah. <gasps> I thought we were the balanced one. Oh well. Thanks for hanging out with me. Yep. Okay, and this is where it auto saves, unfortunately. I used up both of my save files, so there's no going back now. Yeah. Oh, this. I gotta save first. Maybe I can read Sherlock's book. Yes, maybe there's some interesting information in it. Like, maybe it's secretly a spell book for a more advanced version of Enfire. I, yeah, probably not, but you never know. Okay, seriously, game. Yeah, hopefully the next build will get rid of this auto-save or make it, or at least have it use its own exclusive slot. Okay. Can't read it. What? What kind of blasphemy is this? No. If it's a book, it exists to be read. Dang it. That's right. They have a saying so that you're not allowed to read spell books that aren't uh, uh, specifically assigned to you. That way, it'll be hard for people to figure out who's selling them. Hard to trace it back. Okay. Sorry. Took your. At Paul for the day. And I don't think there's any new dialogue with you guys. This is literally the same thing. Yeah. Even the even the d dorm head is kind of stereotypical there. 
crap. I don't see Alyssa anywhere around here. I was hoping that maybe I could start a friendship event with her, even though I already chose Ayn. Like, why can't I just find and befriend both of them? We could immediately- since she already has her own ally, we could immediately form a four-person party and outnumber uh, Sylvia's gang. Yeah, like, unless- uh, unless Alyssa was somehow opposed to Ayn, I don't think this makes sense at all. And I don't think they would be uh, enemies of each other at all, would they? I, uh, I don't think they have overly clashing personalities. What do you think, Alyssa? Yo. Hey, Reen Colseal, I finally found you. Do you have time to talk? I need to get something off my chest. Uh, shoot. Drakely Garden when you have the time. I need someone to talk to. Shoot. I was. So I wanted to talk to this guy first. I'll reload that. Sorry, Alyssa. I'll talk to you properly. So that we can hopefully form a, f a great party. Here's hoping you'll give me my quest reward without taking up my entire day. I know this game likes to do that with seemingly minor events, too. Like, just chatting with... Uh, just chatting with Ayn somehow took the entire day and forced me into night mode. I don't understand how. Like, did we talk that long? Did we, like, smoke a joint uh, out back or something? Hey, is that my book? Oh man, what coincidence. You see, I wasn't really expecting you to find my book. I actually accepted the fact of losing it for good. So I just bought a new one from the trader. Are you serious? I beat up that gnome for nothing. But since you went through so much to get that for me, I'll tell you what. You can keep that book. I'll just go talk to the trader and tell him that I transferred ownership to you. Oh no, this is a spell book after all. I knew it. Haha. -ha. And since he can transfer ownership, that means I can actually use it. You should be able to read that spell book in your room. You're good with that? Hell yeah. Okay, great. I'll go ahead and talk to the trader so you can start reading that if you want. In Aqua. Hmm, nice. Now give me two elemental spells. Yes, yes. It's all coming together. I, kn I knew upholding my end of the deal would come in handy. Still, it seems you could choose between f fire and water, but... Hmm. Well, if I run to Sylvia against... I may want the water one. Maybe she's a... F means fire, or maybe she just has all the elements. Who knows? But if she just set something on fire again, I can just put it out. Oh yeah, according to the dev... Putting... Uh, 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 putting water onto the burning bush will allow you to farm more flowers in the long run. So it's a good thing I actually did that, even though it looked like a waste of an, an, an aqua crystal. It was actually very critical. Okay, let's talk to her properly. I'm guessing she's gonna want serious answers. Hey, Reen Seal, I finally found you. No, wait, what did Drake Woods prefer again? The, the leadership type, right? So maybe leader-like answers? I don't know. Sure. Let's go to Drakewood Garden. That place calm, calms me down. Okay. Now out with it. Do you want to form a team against Sylvia or something? I feel terrible today. Oh, shoot. What's wrong? Wait, did it- was that the wrong choice? Ah, crap, now I gotta reload until I figure out the best course of events to recruit her. What does Me Too bring? It's the same result! I can't believe Sylvia got rewarded after what she's done to everyone. I know, right? This, this is kind of a social Darwinist school, isn't it? I mean, how can anyone just destroy those flowers and force everyone else to fail the class? She's a bully, plain and simple. I hope someone knocks some sense out of her. I know, right? Calm down. Calm down seems more leader-like, but... Ugh, ugh! These choices. I f also feel like we need to calm down and take things one step at a time. Secretly build our strength so that the next time we see her, we have a chance. Calm down? I can't just stay calm about it. That was a shameful act uncharacteristic of a law mage candidate. She really does remind me of Una Crawford. But the worst part is that Ponfine got seriously injured. How could they hurt a classmate like that? It's not like we're supposed to be enemies. Is he your boyfriend? Is he your brother? Uh, where's the option for... Platonic friend? Is he your brother? Laughs with it. No, he's not, but I guess you can put it that way. He's like a little brother to me. Hmm. You 
and think about the choices. There's some ch it's hard to tell when it matters or not. Like, when doing the normal bonding event, you can tell by the heart symbols. But here, it seems that some ch choices don't really matter, while others do. When we were young, Pon Pon used to get bullied a lot by our kids. We lived in an affluent neighborhood, but Pon Pon's family wasn't as well off as everyone else's. One time I saw Pon Pon on the ground being kicked by a group of kids. I got so mad at what was happening that I beat all of them up. Wow, you're strong. Mm. I should be. If I'm going to protect my family name, I should be able to at least protect a little kid. After that, Pon Pon and I became friends. He was crying his eyes out, so I hugged him and I promised to protect him. We've been inseparable since then. That's why I can't let Sylvia push us around again. Come think of it, aren't you mad at Sylvia too? Hell yeah! <laughs> of course, anyone would be. I'm pretty sure the entire class is mad at her, but she could take on all of us at once, so that's... Probably... Hmm. I feel like we're gonna have to do that one... thing, that one video game where you had 99 party members. That's the only way we're gonna beat Sylvia. Get our 99 party members. You know what? We shouldn't let Sylvia push us around like that. She has no right to hurt other students and sabotage her missions. To make sure it doesn't happen again, we should stick together. Yeah. Hope you don't- But mm. you will have to get along with Ayn. You can do that, hopefully. That's the spirit. I guess the choice of the be for a friend in the beginning was just to determine who helps you with the- Who helped you retake the mission. Hey, Cold Steel, thank you for talking to me today. Knowing that you're on my side makes me feel better already. We're friends now, so if you need help, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Yeah, I need to surpass Sylvia's Meme League. And to that, I must form more bonds. She's now willing to join you outside the Academy. It's important that you maintain this bond and spend time with her. The closer you become, the more she will grow capable as a law mage. Hmm. Since it, I'm glad we talked today. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my chest. Let's do this again sometime, okay? I'll see you around. Okay, I'm, so this will probably eat up my entire day. Okay, I can talk to him a- Wait. What? A letter? Don't t I see! I can talk to students outside of my dorm by using the mail system. But I'll probably have to choose my words carefully, as always. I also need to do my double save system. Oh, she scaled up to my level. Nice. Did she gain experience points while she wasn't in my party? That would be a pretty clever way of ensuring that everyone's around the same power level. Yeah, maybe that's how it works. I'm not sure. She has a sword. But now I'm redundant. I need to get a staff so I look less redundant compared to the other two. Yes. I'm more balanced between attack and defense compared to them. Yes, I'm the defense type. She's the offense type. Hmm, I'm the speed type. I guess that's ideal for being a healer. That may be due to my earring. No, it's not. That's my base speed. I'm just naturally that fast. Hmm, I need to make sure you have a... Gnome ring. Hmm, luck... Does luck affect accuracy? If it does, it might not be worth it. Even if it does uh, balance out the rest of her stats better. Ugh. On the other hand, maybe I should keep the gnome ring on green co cold steel so he can enhance his healing. Flame dagger. Magic and agility. Hmm, for healing purposes, yeah, flame dagger would probably help a bit. Yeah, full magic and speed build for the heals. Also, it does- wait, if it's a slashing weapon that does fire, does that mean- What would happen if I attacked an enemy that was weak to both slash and fire? What then? No, wait. No, it does- I can't do slash damage anymore. Because all these weapons have very specific stuff, attributes listed. The fact that it doesn't list slash anymore means that this is a pure fire type attack. Which actually worked out pretty well for me, because I 
am set to learn water as my second element. Okay, so... Hmm, decisions. Oh, he's telling me about magical paper. Good evening, candidate. I am pleased to inform you that we receive our shipment of magical paper today. From now on, you can write letters to your friends during night time. I left some paper on the common area uh, tables. You may use them if you wish to write to your friends. But seriously, how did that take up my entire day? I guess she's also interested in smoking joints behind the bleachers. During night time, you can bond with your friends from other houses by writing them letters. Writing takes up a whole evening, similar to taking a job or reading spellbooks. Everything seems to take up a ton of time. Time flies when you're having fun or doing anything important, really. Double save techniques. It's the only way. Okay, I have no idea if this is going to make me tired, which is exactly why I needed two save slots. Just to, just to get around the first auto save. An Aqua Spell Book. Okay. It's gonna be the exact same f dialogue, right? Yep. Please not be dead tired for this one. Okay. Oh, crap. Reload. Reload. Unless... Uh... I have to check, what classes do I actually have today? Depending on what classes I have, I might be able to get away with it by taking non-combat classes, but... The question is, can I, how do I tell which classes have zero combat whatsoever? And also, will being tired still affect my performance in those classes? These are important questions. Yeah, what- what say you? Hmm, I think crafting might work out. Let's do a separate slot, and then go to bed early. Yeah, so that seems like a good idea. Good way to budge everything. Or I could just- no, let's skip- let's do some more studying, then go to bed early, then study again the next day. Yeah, so I think that would be a good idea. Yes, that way I can learn to spell and... Hmm, all these require combat basics. Another one, aura shields. We already know how to break aura shields, so... But the thing is, how... Would the, can't the enemy break our aura shields? I'm pretty sure I saw our own shield meter. Yeah. We have aura skills. Okay. I'm gonna make some preparations. I'll keep this result just because I need to study anyways, and I can always find another opportunity to chat with my allies. Let's grab some morning wood. I always like to call it morning wood. Sounds, <laughs> sounds so dirty somehow. Okay, there she is. Yep. In case I need a bond with her. Hmm. Yes, but today I shall not bond. I shall study the water spell. Yes, she has her own water spell, but I would like to have it in case there's a oh, she gets kicked out of my party somehow and they need to put out a fire. Let's go. Round two with the Inaqua. All right. I guess the game is set up so that even if you choose to, uh, no matter what you choose in the beginning, it might still be possible to learn other spells. So you can learn most of them and have your allies pick up the slack. Mm, but the fact that my allies have multiple elements implies that they too are buying illegal spell books. Okay, but there's not much I can do tonight because I'm already in the tired status. I have to, I have to hit this hay now. Yes, that would be the wisest choice. Hit the hay, maybe do some bonding. I hope I don't waste too much time on uh, here. Did I remove my tired status? Yes, I did. We're good to go. We're ready to 
ready to do all nighters again. Oh, I have the least hit points of everyone, but the most MP. I guess I took the mage part of Law Mage Academy too seriously, even though I picked Reen, who is more physical based. In his. Uh, in Cold Steel, that is. Seriously, I, I think. I really wish we had slightly more actions per day. If we take two actions, major actions per day, that tires us out a lot. Like, I feel like a little bit. Uh, one more would work, or maybe have certain actions, like talking to your friends, count as like half an action, so you could s uh, that you could do at night without getting tired. Like it's not like we're talking all night; we're just talking. We're just talking for a few minutes. How does that tire uh, people out that bad? Well, I guess maybe s socializing with people is too stressful. That's that must be why. Yes, that explains it. Okay, let's do at least one event with yeah. Yuna. I mean, Alyssa. I, damn it, I, I think she's. I keep thinking of her as Yuna now. As Yuna Crawford. Talk to her. Well, I guess I could take a break from studying too. Got a link. What is your gimmick? I is a kind of a lazy bum, but. Hmm. What, what would you be? Spells in class both sound like something that would go with the. It with the southeast house. Hmm, I'm gonna go with like spells. Yes. <laughs> oh, do you learn a new spell? I can't wait to see it. I'm working on it. I just need one more push. As for me, I think I need a little more time before I learn a new one. By the way, I'm just curious. What have you been doing with your spare time? I have a feeling jobs would be the more leader-like one. No? Aww. Oh, let me do that again. Okay, exploring must be the correct one. Yes! <laughs> That's great. For me, I can't wait to see more of Magus Gaia myself. I love seeing new sites and experiencing new things. Maybe, maybe should, if I spent more time with Yuna from Cold Steel, would I have gotten that? Uh, what do you plan to do after this? Damn. Study? Yes! <laughs> That's good to know. We can't afford to lag behind. I guess she's the more... Uh, uh, so, somewhat more studious. Yes. Anyway, thanks for spending time with me today, Reen Cold Steel. I enjoyed talking to you. I hope we can do this again sometime. Okay, so now we do a double save again, just in case I need it. Yes, with that, both of you should be decently bonded with. I can't spend all my time bonding with you two, though. I have things to do, like studying spells, doing classes and such. Seriously, the fact that it's so hard to budget your time in this game, like, even simple tasks seem to take a lot of time. I can understand a spell book actually taking a lot of time, given that it's really hard to learn outside of class for some reason, but... Stuff like talking to your friends, huh? Yes. And Aqua. This should be the final chapter. Oh, oh yeah, I have it now. Okay, but to, after this I should probably... ...should not avoid sleeping late. Okay, I, I lucked out this time, but now I should limit myself to only one activity today, so I don't get s burned out. Yes. Use the double save technique until we get the a proper auto save fix. Yes, grab the morning wood as well. It's not much, but this oak wood can be sold. Hmm, we can also use this well to get water, I guess. I have ten clear waters. 
That's strange. Is there someone living in a well selling the water? Okay, item craft is next. Law Mage Apollo. These are, look like easy missions. Very well, please proceed to West Wing 5. Alright, it's all done. We will be starting now. I am Lawmage Apollo, resident blacksmith of magical artifacts and professor of item craft. I've been a lawmage for four years now. In my practice, I've seen a lot of good lawmages die because they brought crap gear to field missions. So I want to make sure that nobody goes out on missions fighting monsters, maybe even criminals like the judges, and risking their lives with substandard gear. One of those three are actually judges, but even then, if they were going to infiltrate the school, you think they'd be more subtle about it. Pretending to be the weakest student while actually plotting in the shadows. That's why today you'll learn how to craft charms using the ingredients you collected during combat basics. But Professor, what exactly are charms, and how can they help us during missions? You haven't heard of charms yet, huh? I apologize. I assume everyone here already knew about it. Let's begin with the basics. Everything in this world possesses a certain degree of magical potential. In fact, even the smallest of things have magical potential. Remember the things you gathered from playing bats? They have potential as well. Ironcraft is simply the process of harnessing the magical potential of the, these objects so we can make use of them. Charms are one of the things that we can craft and equip using these ingredients to grant us various benefits. Interesting, so like weapons, we can equip charms to make us more capable during missions. That's correct. Typically, you need a recipe to craft a charm. Unlike spells, you don't need to memorize recipes before you can use them. Having said that, I want you to craft a feral necklace charm using six fangs that you obtained during your combat basics. I hope I didn't sell any of them. Make use of um, the crafting stations in front of you. Uh, in front of you. T come talk to me when you're done. Can't use this uh, cr crafting station at the same time, you know. I wonder where we can get more recipes. Maybe I'll go ask Gold Mage Apollo after this. Maybe they sell them, or in, maybe they're in dungeons? West Wing 5. Gotta remember this place in case I need to craft something. It's a good thing I brought my potion craft book. I'm gonna craft some potions while I'm here. After the class, I'll come back and do some crafting. Maybe you should do the same and craft a new weapon. I think it'd be ex it's exciting how we can finally craft our own gear. I could totally use the charm to boost my magic. I may want to use blunt... Uh, create a blunt weapon. Some when I'm get when I get an opportunity. Wow, that costs a lot. It's not even that great, is it? Yeah, feral necklace, apple juice. Hey, it's a group heal. That's actually pretty good. I can turn all these apple. I couldn't even eat any apples yet. This this will come in handy. Is there any secret to this class, though? Any gimmicks I need to remember to do things optimally? Yeah, I don't see anything else. Okay. Uh, why did I leave the classroom? Are you kidding me? You can leave the class? Uh, what? Okay, that might be an oversight. I feel like it should prevent you from leaving the class, or at least let you back in. Okay, let's turn it in. Finish the raid, let's see it then. That's a, this is, that's a decent feral necklace charm. I am satisfied with your work. Is there a way to make it better? Please return to your station and wait for everyone else to finish. Is everyone done? Excellent. Now that you know the basics of item craft, you can access this room anytime to craft items, charms, and weapons. I also have authorization from Headmaster Osborne to sell recipes and materials for crafting. If you need any, you can always find me here. I hope to see more of you here in the West Wing 5 from now on. To get you all started, I'm giving everyone some copper ores which you can use for crafting. You can also get copper ores by using uh, by using Earth's spells on certain overworld objects. Class dismissed. I really need to make a staff type weapon so I can balance out everyone else. What? What's going on? Ah, oh, can you spare a moment, candidate? Oh no, the, so the church is going to have its own time-consuming activity too, isn't it? I simply wish to tell you that the chapel is now open. 
What's it good for? A healer revitalizes the body, whereas a priest reinvigorates the soul. You may come see me if you wish to nourish your soul by contributing to our donation efforts through the uh, throughout Magaskaya. The ch chapel is located in the Solstice Garden east of here. By now, students are already familiar with the academy grounds. I trust you can easily find your way there. Uh. Huh. Strange is a mandatory task. Hope to see you there soon, candidate. Divine blessings upon you. So I'm probably gonna be bumped back to the dorm, because, yeah, strict schedules. I don't have any new spells to study, so I just need to double save and pick someone to bond with. Yeah, I already did a proper rest last time, so I think I can get away with staying up late this time. I just need to remember to alternate and use double saves so that I can return in case I get too tired and there's a combat mission coming up. I might give this letter thing a shot. So I'm thinking about what to write. Is there ever going to be heart symbols and stuff? I made good progress with my spell books. I think I deserve a break tonight. Spend the rest of the evening exchanging tips on how to study more efficiently. That was that was it. I can't tell if that was good or bad. So I sleep after staying up late writing to each other. It appears to have grown closer to Alyssa. Perhaps you should talk to her and see if she needs anything. What? Is this some kind of character-specific quest? And also, I'm running out of days. I'm almost on all the classes, but... Uh, I'm still a little nervous that I will eventually corner myself. I think I only have 30... I, I think something big will happen on the 30th. Uh, it's possible that if I don't complete my classes by then, I am boned. Hey, what's this about announcements? I am craft room is now open for candidates who pass I am craft class. Okay, just a reminder. So hoping it would also mention something about the chapel. What kind of rewards do I get for, for donating to the chapel, though? Oh, I have a feeling if I go in there now, it's gonna s advance the story. Versus. It's a quest for some reason. Hmm. What does she want to talk about? I only bind with you like twice. That's enough to be used to the next level. What will it do? Unlock a limit break? Yeah. Oh, hey, Irene Colseal. Are you taking a day off? Talk. Mm. What did you want to do? What's this special event about? I'm glad you're free today, Green Cold Seal. I really didn't want to be alone today. How have you been? How's the Academy life treating you so far? Good? Mm. It's nice to know you're holding up well despite our hectic schedule. You know, I've been feeling frustrated with myself lately. I, I feel like I'm not good enough. Why so? Aww. It's just that I'm getting tired of my own incompetency. You see, I found a book on dagger techniques recently. I tried practicing the moves in the book, but I can, can never seem to get it right. I want to learn these moves so bad I can stand, uh, so I can stand up on my own. I don't want to be weak and rely on others all the time and defend me. <coughs> I have to be stronger. I have to be better than this. Hmm. Ask for help. That's the lesson the book. Uh, uh, that's the lesson the uh, book is trying to teach me. But why? This also seems like an important question. Why? Because I have to, okay? I guess I should tell you why I'm here in the first place. Yeah, I want to get your backstory too. You see, my family is held in, the, in high esteem in the capital, the city of dreams, Valencia. In fact, many of my relatives are law mages. My parents made sure I got, uh, that I got into law mage academy. They wanted to receive, me to receive training here and be strong so I can be successful just like them. I told them I wanted to study in an art academy, but they said I have no future as an artist. They said that being a law mage is a more stable and reliable profession. 
But without art, how would we get this kind of game? Hmm. They're wrong. There's no one path. Ah, tell me about it. Who cares about being a law mage anyway? But now you're here, you still have to... Uh, but enough about that. We need to focus on the stagger technique. If I perfect this, I'll be one step closer to being dwarfy. Would you like to help me? You can be my target dummy. Bring it. Great, stand still, okay? Aura skill noblesse. I didn't even take the aura class yet. Whoops. <laughs> Finally, it worked. I even managed to control my movement so I wouldn't hit you. We knew all I knew was a practice dummy like you. Okay, I think that's a success. Hey, Ring Cold Steel, thanks for being with me today. Because of you, I was able to focus on my technique. Don't worry, I was just kidding about using you as a target dummy, silly. Okay, I should probably go to bed and not get tired. Or sh- no. I think I might be able to get away with doing something tonight. Maybe if I spend time with him. I don't know. Yo! Huh. Okay, take it easy now every now and then. So many things I need to balance. Nice to see you again. How have you been up too lately? Lazy. Oh. Same here. I wish you got a whole week off. Something's never gonna happen. It's the same questions as last time. <laughs> Okay. So, what did I accomplish? Can I actually push him to learn a new skill? Okay, it seems he will learn a new skill soon. And I am tired. This is bad. Should probably do something non combat related today. Like talking to Ayn and getting his. <laughs> His super skill. 30 AP. Slash attack to an enemy. Cool down two turns. A free hit one, so it could potentially break an enemy quicker. Hmm. Okay, before I d uh, deal with Ayn, let's stop by the chapel. I'm kind of interested in this. My friends assume I'm religious because I come from the Molus region. True is I come here often because it reminds me of my parents back home. Once there is beauty, there is already ugliness. Interesting quote, doesn't it? The Divine Scrolls is full of interesting proverbs like that. Goes to show that light and darkness are both part of the same whole. In the same way, productivity and leisure go hand in hand. Darkness. Uh, so you... Now what? Greetings, Candidate. I'm pleased to see you here. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm the priest of... Well, I made Jakami. My duty is to lead the faithful to the divine will. I see you adjust well to the rigors of the academy. That is good. Not everyone is as fortunate as you are. That is why the divine church organizes donation drives to the le less privileged people of Magaskaya. Currently, we are focusing our efforts on providing charms to help protect vulnerable villages in the northern Fall Hurt region. Here's a list in case you wish to help us. What? Oh, cr oh wow. That's gonna take. That's gonna be difficult to make. Some of these I already have, but... Hmm. I already bought the recipes and they were super expensive. Oh boy. I think some of them might require me to go to layer dungeons too. If you wish to contribute, you may come see me and offer your generosity to the Divine. As the creed goes to give and not to count the cost. Divine blessings upon you, candidate. Hmm. There's a bit of a trick you can use if you want to have too many oak woods and you want to sell them. If you craft them into... into uh, So you can sell three of them for 60, right? But if you craft three of them into a staff first and then sell it, you get 75. So it's actually uh, more profitable that way. Yes, yeah, so that's a tr trick I may want to use. 
Anyways, I have enough for you. Offering of charms to the less fortunate. We're good at all creation and all that is. Did my good deed for the day. Thank you for your contribution, candidate. Please accept this as a humble token of appreciation. May you find it useful in your endeavors. In Frost Crystal? Hey, this is a different element. Okay. I still have the rest of the day. Hmm, should probably go talk to Ayn so he can learn his ulti- his- his aura skill. Alright, let's see it. Yo. Hey, Cold Steel, wanna hang out today? Yes. Huh. Cool, it's good to take it easy every now and then. Alright, I'm sure you have something new this time. It's a good thing you're free today, Reen. I was getting bored messing around with potions. So how have you been? I know you- I bet you know a lot of spells already, huh? Free to be exact. Probably more than average for most students of my grade, but still not enough to beat the trio of doom. Yes. Oh. I knew it, you've always been a fast learner. But you have two spells, which is not too bad. Of course, I bet you've been, like me, you've been cheating by getting illegal books. As for me, I only know a few. I'm having a hard time learning new spells, to be honest. You know how much I struggled in the school back when we were kids, right? I found a way to compensate. I've been reading this book on martial arts. Martial arts? Huh. I see, maybe my choices will determine what skills they learn. Well, he already has two offensive spells. It couldn't hurt for him to learn a martial arts skill. Yeah, I figured I'm not good at spells, so I can always rely on my fists to defend myself. Think of it this way, at least I won't need much mana to be useful, right? Want to see what I've learned so far? Yes. Wait, but if it's a fist oh, wow. skill, that means I'll be blunt, right? Okay, let's get ready. Start pushing the air as fast as you can. He looks clumsy. I need to slowing down. He looks like he's getting exhausted. Huh, well, what do you think? Needs improvement! Oh. It's that bad, huh? Ah. I knew it. I knew I couldn't do it even if I tried. First I failed in Potion Craft 101, and now I can't even perfect a stupid punching technique. Maybe I really shouldn't be in Law Mage Academy. I believe in you. Oh. You really think I can do it, even though I failed the most basic things? Do you think I still think I can pull this off? Thanks, Reen Cold Steel. That means a lot to me. Hmm, let me think. What if I use a bit of magic to help stabilize my form? Okay, I have an idea. I think it's gonna work this time. Stand back, Green Cold Steel. Watch me. All right. I did it. Green, I really did it this time. Or a skill flurry. It's a s blunt type. Do I have to actually equip a blunt weapon, though? I'm proud of you. Oh, man, I'm literally shaking right now. I can't believe I actually did that. Oh, thanks. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Hey, Reen, uh, Reen, thanks for helping me believe in myself more. I was pretty sure I wasn't capable of learning anything new. Because of you, I'm starting to gain more confidence now. You're a good friend, you know that? That means his skill will probably consume both AP and MP. Spend the rest of the day laughing with Ayn and talking about all the cool things you two could possibly do. And I better go to bed early, because, yeah, that pooped me out. No, it does not cost it. Oh, it also lowers defense. It doesn't deal multiple hits, but it's still pretty good. It has a cooldown cool to prevent me from abusing it, of course. Yes. Everyone has access to two elements, even if there's a bit of overlap. Yes. Better do a double save, even though I am just gonna go straight to bed, and I can't talk to him anymore. But wait, why does she still have an option? That's weird. I thought I already maxed you out. Can I go even further beyond? That is very weird. How does this bonding work? I thought I, there's... Apparently I have not yet hit the cap. That means I could learn additional skills. Additional limits. Can this happen? I'm busy with reading. I hope you understand. I see. So I do account for what would happen if you tried to talk to her again through the mail after getting her bonding skill. 
Okay, so this won't do. I guess I just, just head straight to bed and rest off the status effect. Maybe start doing late night jobs so I can start affording ingredients again. Auto saved. Now I'm well rested. Yup. Ready for another day. This time we must concentrate on our classes. I need to take the Aura skill class as well so I can start using up my AP and not sitting on it all battle. Yes. These people never have anything new to say. So I need to think about what stuff I might need to forge too. Okay. Oh, this one's a two-day class. She's probably gonna chuck us into another dungeon. Let's do aura skills first. Very well, proceed to West Wing 2. This might involve some combat. Hope I didn't re equip the wrong weapon. Welcome, welcome everyone to today's class on aura skills. Let us begin by under with understanding what aura is. Can anyone here, here help me in learning the class? Huh? Another unique student. Me, I studied this, Professor. Will I be able to recruit her? What a diligent student. You probably studied it on your own, didn't you? Very well, let's hear it. Aura is composed of life energy present, present in all living things. It's a reflection of one's soul, and it, so it is unique to, in every person. Unlike mana, an individual can develop their own aura and use it in ways nobody else can. Impressive. This is, that is absolutely correct. However, allow me to clarify a few things. Mana allows us to cast spells by harnessing it from our surroundings. Our bodies constantly absorb mana from nature. We can also speed up the process by more direct means such as drinking mana potions. Aura on the other hand is personal. It's like a manifestation of one's soul. The more you mature, the more your aura grows, until it becomes a stand. Unlike spells, aura skills cannot be taught. Instead, they are developed according to your personality and life experience. Hence, each person has their own unique set of aura skills. I'm Professor Demetrius. I already know one aura skill, but how can we learn more if you can't teach us? The answer is simple. Live your life. Make friends, explore the world, do new things. Living your life to the fullest allows you to grow, and as a result, so will your aura. I already bind a lot with my error friends, so, do, so is it too late for me to learn aura skills? I think I get the idea. Thank you, Professor. Did I screw up by bonding with my friends too early? You're asking the right questions. Keep it up. One day your aura skills will determine success or failure in the field. Any other questions? None. Let's conclude this class. I'll be giving everyone an aura potion. You're dismissed after receiving one. Oh, okay, I got aura potion, but I don't have a skill myself yet. That kind of sucks. Why is there a golem? Help me, please! Huh. Hey, wait up! Huh? Who goes there? You're... You're what? Uh, your name's Jin. You're the guy who was late to class, weren't you? I'm glad I went here as soon as I heard someone shout for help. Let's take this thing down together. Okay, you are a golem, so I probably should not use... Uh, uh, use Earth on you. Let's just use Aqua and test the waters. Literally test the waters. Yes! That was a good choice. What kind of ore do you have? Fire? And use Wind. What kind of attacks do you have? Are you... Yeah, Blunt is also your weakness. This thing's pretty tough. How come nobody's around to deal with this? Aren't the Keepers supposed to be guarding the Academy? And what's the... What's the final weakness? Wind? Say ya! No, it's not. Well, it's probably not gonna be fire. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you show me your aura skills? Maybe we can use your skills to beat this guy. I have like 100. I... Where is it? Where's my aura skill? Did I screw up and learn it too... Uh, it's, and take the class too late? I have no clue sometimes. Hey -ya! And bird. Do that! I did not use any aura skill at all. And he was higher level than me. Damn it. I didn't get an aura after all. What the heck? Is it glitched? 
Thanks for helping me, that was close. How do you feel? I'm alright, a few scratches here and there, but nothing serious. I'm Lunel, by the way. Oh. To be safe, I think we should go to the infirmary and have you checked. You should come with us in case one of those things show up again. I don't think I can fend off a golem alone. You and Jin accompany Lunel to the infirmary. I still can't believe someone got attacked by a monster inside the academy grounds. I know that sometimes they manage to get inside, but law mages on duty usually deal with them before they can cause any trouble. I'm glad you helped us. Oh. No problem, any decent fox helm would have done the same. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. By the way, you look kind of familiar. Have we met before? Homerun class, you're a latecomer. Oh yeah, I think I saw you in there. Why were you late anyways? Probably... Uh, who knows? You know, there's a reason why I was late. On my way to class, I saw a monster cornering a candidate, just like what happened today. Sircon saw it too, but he gave it a glance and walked straight to the main building. No one else was there to help, so I had no choice but to fend off the monster. That's why I was late for class. I just don't get that guy. Why didn't he help that candidate? There's something strange going on in this academy, and I bet Sircon has something to do with it. Sircon, wasn't he one of the one of Sylvia's lackeys? I agree. Oh. Right, it doesn't take a genius to notice that there are weird things happening here. Plus, the fact that there are enemies on the on campus grounds is kind of scary, don't you think? What, what are the guards doing? Are they letting this happen on purpose? Anyway, I'll do some digging on my own. See you around. Take care of yourself, Reen. Seems he's got quite a sense of justice. Damn, did I really not learn any aura skills from that? Oh shoot, I better look this up. I think I fucked up somehow. Enough time for a job? Alright, here's a cloth. I need to get a little bit of money. Do I seriously not have a single aura? Okay. Not much I can do here. I don't have any new pages for that book. Damn it. How could I not have a single aura skill even after all this time? Something's wrong. I hope I can beat the game with uh, the demo without it. When was I supposed to learn it? I, yeah, let's just hope I have enough leeway to win without an aura skill. It's possible I will learn one during the next mandatory combat mission, too. The aura breaks. I have no idea. Very well, proceed to West Wing 4. Let's just see what I can do here. Settle down, noobs. We'll begin a lesson now begin the lesson on aura breaks. Now that you have a basic understanding of aura, it's time to for, for you to learn how to use your enemy's aura against them. Clothing your aura generally makes you stronger. It determines your strengths and capabilities. It's worth mentioning your aura determines your weaknesses as well. As your aura grows, you'll develop new abilities as well as weaknesses. Now, some of you might not have weaknesses yet. If you are one of them, it's because you are already weak for not having grown your aura. Everyone has a weakness, but we don't die easily because our aura shield protects us. If you get hit by something you're weak against, your aura shield cracks, so to speak. But let me demonstrate. You there, you will have the honor of having your aura shield broken by me. Now stand still, pay attention, class. That's what it looks like when you get hit by something you are weak against. How do you know his weakness is off the bat? If you get hit enough of times with your weakness, you'll experience what we call an aura break. When you are in the state of aura break, you will be stunned and take additional damage. This is precisely what you want to do to your opponents. You must hit them enough times with their weaknesses. After two turns, your opponent will recover their aura shields, so it's best to finish them off while they're down. But they can do the same to me, so how do I heal back my aura shields? For a second there, I thought I was a goner. Take note, individuals have different aura shield durabilities. Most magical creatures can only take a few hits. However, stronger creatures can take much more. That's why it's important for you to improve your aura. Not only will you have more skills to use, you, you, you'll also develop resistance. Now for a practical exam, in order for you to pass this class, you have to go to Z Zoklat Hills. Your mission is to find me. 
So Clot Hills is more dangerous than Arishia Forest. The monsters are stronger and more aggressive. Moreover, you're not allowed to leave in up until you find me, so you have to look everywhere. If you want to stay alive, do your best to exploit monster weaknesses and perform aura breaks. Oh boy. Zoclat Hills. Now go, I'll see you at all in Zoclat Hills. Yes, ma'am. Can I bring my allies? I don't think I can do this by myself. Hang on, Zoclat Hills, eh? Best be careful out there. This place isn't the same as Urshia Forest, kiddo. I don't think I'd recruit Jin yet, could I? I didn't see him in the in the Fox Helm area. You might want to bring some friends with you too. Never know what sort of magical creatures might jump at you. So you ready to go? Okay, good luck, kiddo. This is bad. I don't know if I'm ready. There's already a B! Okay, I have a Pierce type, so that's already a good sign. They're weak to fire. Fast. Hot. He has a different weakness? Oh, shoot. Leveled up. What is this stump? It doesn't do anything. I thought it'd be a secret. Huh. Weird. Or maybe... I thought there would have at least been a mining point or something. Okay. Even though it'll be kind of expensive, I do want to fight all the enemies and level up. Since they are a decent source of money, too. You know, we can use our spells and fuel obstacles, right? However, some people don't know they can also use shards to get past them. You gonna have them. Okay, good. And burn. Area of Aqua and Gaia. And also, I have Vault through him and Nature through her. So, burn, I actually probably need more of, don't I? Yes. Gold ring? Is that something I can equip? Two magic. For pure magic types. I like to throw tips around before enrolling. My friends tell me golems are weak to water. Okay, good. Keep going. A sign? I'm having trouble deciding where to go. The West Path is infested with monsters. I love to go train there, but I'm traveling alone. On the other hand, the Eastern Path is pure monsters, which means it's safer. Hmm. Oh. I say we take the Western Path. We can rack up plenty of experience and raise our grade. No. Actually, we'll be exposing ourselves to unnecessary risks by going west. We should take the Eastern Path. Green Coal Steel. Our mission is simply to find Love Age Zelka. We won't be able to do that if monsters slow us down. Oh. Yeah, but it wouldn't hurt if we raise our grade along the way by beating up some monsters, right? Oh, well, probably where we decided to go, Green Cold Steel. Shoot. But I'm sure that there's a tr I'm sure she- But considering the type of person she is, I don't think she would approve if we went through the lower route. I don't know. Plus, I can always run away from the monsters, too. I feel like the- They're the, gonna put better rewards on the tougher route. How po densely populated is it? Okay, why is there already another fort? Golem. Yep. More copper ores, but there's a ton of golems everywhere. 
Mana potions, yes. I I figured this would have the be the more rewarding path. Huh. We need to explore everywhere thoroughly. At least they gave us a little bit of room to walk around everything, but still. Oh, I spoke too soon. I've got to lure him out and get to the bottom. They're all converging on position, but since some of them are slower than me, I can take advantage of that to slip past them anyways. The B, on the other hand, is going to be difficult. Yeah, golems are strong but super slow on the field, so you can run from them if you need to. How do I get up there? Some water. Yes, this is the correct path. This is the path that will... Oh crap, that bee. Dang it, I feel like she wants us to go on the tougher path. It just seems like her character. I don't trust you, teacher. I know you're gonna put us on the difficult path. Yes, she's also merciful enough to give us a few potion sellers. In fact, since mana potions are actually pretty cheap, I could probably farm off the enemies pretty easily too, huh? Both paths seem to converge on the same spot. Hmm, but why is there a save point here? Does that mean she really is on this path? And I sh If she is on this path, I'm gonna check the other path too. The weaker path. Seems way too... Yeah, I feel... No, I should t fight at least one golem just to see what they drop. I can probably take them. Oh, they still have bees, of course. Hmm. Why are the bees weak to... ...that any... Yeah, oh, no, it's the bats were weak to that. So maybe if I use lightning, they'd be... ...they'd go down. Yes! No, she's already used up way too much MP. I should have her... I should have Ein start using some. Ah, this, the golem is strong. Normal attacks won't cut it against you, but how does nature do against an earth type? Maybe the next boss ball will have me learn my aura skill for him. Yes, that may be good. Yes. Now we head up and probably... Order... Mm. Dang it. Now I feel like there's really something back there. The game will not actually let me proceed. Hmm, not g actually downwards, that is. Oh, I'm weak to water now, r because of my flame dagger, perhaps? That's weird, because I actually have water as one of my spells. Hmm. If that's the case, this might be my last chance to grind a bit before heading into the unknown. Okay, kill all the monsters in this area, let's go forward. Huh? An ogre? What are you weak to? Fire. 
Ogre done. Nature? Yes. Flurry. Doesn't seem too much stronger than the golems right now, but who knows. Oh, good, that one worked. Nature. If he used water, I'd be in trouble, wouldn't I? No bless. Triple slash attack. He's weak to slash too? Shoot, I could've used that earlier. Okay, he's got his shields back, but... Take this, normal attack. Dunn's charm. Well, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, combat-wise, it's not too difficult so far, but... Choice-wise, yeah, tough choices all around. Hey, there's still more! We're not done yet! This wasn't even the halfway point, was it? I checked every nook and cranny of the western path. I'm absolutely sure Law Mage Zelka isn't there. I took the eastern path and even triple-checked the whole area, but I just couldn't find Law Mage Zelka anywhere there. So she must be further ahead. Can't turn back now. Does that mean we can't even go back to this previous area? I guess not. Let's hope there's no additional bosses to worry about. Grabbed all the collectibles down here. I don't see any monsters though, what the heck? Here, this must be like some kind of break zone before the, the real bad shit comes in. So these flowers. You can see more people, but no monsters. They kill everything before I did? Actually, how did everyone beat me here so quickly? Huh. The golems here are tough. Good thing I brought a lot of Inaqua shards from Kadir before taking this class. But you'll run out eventually, and you can't buy them back uh, uh, around here. We only get, have a potion sh shop here. It's a shame I didn't bring some shards today, but I could have dulled those boulders and bushes on the way here. Bushes? Oh, shoot. There were bro probably boulders and bushes in the other section, too, weren't there? See any weird gimmicky things I need to worry about here? No field obstacles? Okay. Let's keep going. Seriously, where did all the monsters go? Who killed them all? Why the hell are you guys here? This isn't even your class! They what is going on? That that's cheating. A bow. Damn it, why would they attack here of all places? Are they waiting specifically for us, or are they just trying to kill every student here? I have a feeling that's what they're trying to do. They didn't really care about the forest fire, so I assume that their real goal is to kill every last student in the freshman class. They're probably part of the judges or something. Why can't I read this? I mean, why the hell... How did they even... Don't you have better things to do with your time, like studying? Or 
higher level quests? Oh, what a lovely surprise. You weren't even in the class. Like, how? Why? We're worried that you might have died in Erishia Forest. That's why we're so glad to see you made it alive. I forgot to thank you for helping us get high grades in Combat Basics. I really do appreciate it. Panda! What do you want, Sylvia? Are you here to sabotage our grades again? <laughs> if you think this is going to end like last time, you were wrong. There's more of us this time, and we're ready to fight. Oh, come on. We're not the villains here. In fact, we are trying to help you. You have a very weird way of helping us, tr nearly killing us in a forest fire. We're lucky none of the other students died. Surely you know that Law Mage Academy is not an ordinary school. After all, it goes so far as to put us candidates in danger. But you're the one putting us in danger. The only danger here is you. We can defend ourselves against monsters just fine. Oh no, not monsters. We're referring to the experiments conducted on... Enough. Turn around and go away now. I'm not going to ask you twice. Stay calm. I've had enough of this. Basie, will you please take care of the trash? With pleasure. What? Haha. <laughs> the monsters are in for a treat tonight. Human flesh for dinner. Y no, Reen. This is just like... Uh, hang there, we're going to get some help. This is the end of part one. Wait, really? Extended demo version... Well, what if we pick the art choice? The extended demo version will be released at a later date. If you want to give feedback, please answer a survey form in, on the HIO page. Thank you so much for playing. Game over. Challenge? You're a summer one, aren't you? You think having a few friends with you is enough? Should we really be wasting our time with them? Like, we'd rather just burn the bridge and drop them in the river. Seriously, these guys aren't students, they're terrorists! Oh, come on, Basie. Where's the fun in that? We might as well show them what high grade students like us can do. Fine, let's make it quick. I don't like wasting my time. <sighs> They're definitely part of some evil organization like Ouroboros or something. Or the judges in this uh, universe. You can beat us that easily, huh? I'll show you. <gasps> I'm going to make you pay for what you did at Pon Pon. Two shields each. You really think you stand a chance, don't you? What a joke. Let's see how long you hold up against high-grade candidates. 60? That's a lot. I'm gonna have to bust out the heals. And try to guess exactly what they're weak against. Fence down. Is that seriously the best you can do? Goodness, you might as well just quit Law Mage Academy and run a potion shop. Wait, I just realized they don't have any weaknesses at all. These guys are gonna be tanky as hell, aren't they? I'm gonna have to spam some items if I wanna win. Hot. This is a waste of our time. Sylvia, allow me to finish this. Fine, do what you must, Spazy. We still die. Great. That was just a preview of what they could do, so, so we know what to do. Uh, 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 and they have almost every element, don't they? Haha. Ah Monsters are. Uh, yep, same ending. No! This. Well, that's quite a cliffhanger. In fact, it's kind of like what having a ring at the end of Cold Steel 1 free. I think I picked a pretty appropriate name after all. End of part one. Game over. We suck. Damn it. Those people. They must have. I wonder if they were the ones who summoned the golem too. They were able to summon a bat before. Yes. They're definitely the uh, uh, a bunch of terrorists. But you think terrorists would be more subtle than that? You think they would at least pretend to be your friend first before screwing you over? But no. I think they were aiming to kill us all the way since back then. No, they would kill us 
uh, no, if they wanted to kill us, they would have fought us directly, since they apparently don't have any weaknesses, unlike what the rules say about auras and such. Yeah, I think we would have at least found some one of their weaknesses, but no. Shit, what would happen if someone tried to grind all the way to 99 and then kill them? What would happen? Would, the, would there be an alternate ending where the game just soft lock? Not knowing what to do when with all the enemies dead. Damn it. Thing is, I checked the uh, offer's Twitter about Sylvia and... Uh, and he said... Uh, uh, and he said that she's going to be a great character. I think they meant great villain, depending on how things develop in the future. When we figure out her reasons for being so evil and sadistic. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much probably what they meant. But uh, the, the, what, on the one their forum replies to me, they did say that the way you into the, some of your choices will affect how she treats you. So that implies that she could be recruited as a friend somehow. Or, but in this case, that, considering how evil she is, I think it would more be more like sh her recruiting you to her whatever her terrorist cause is. Yes, I think that is a more likely scenario. Yes. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Pick the dark route where you betray your friends, join Sylvia and have her as a party member along with her friends. And you go on to, I guess, lay waste to all the Law Mage candidates. Yes, that's probably exactly what's gonna happen. And the final boss fight will be like the Headmaster or something. Assuming he's not in, uh, he's not secretly a terrorist too. Yes. Anyway, so that's it for this demo of La Mage Academy. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of the La Mage Academy demo, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.